Wrap coats appeared as a coat trend for fall 2022, and they've stuck around through this winter season for good reason. They're stylish, but they're also warm and cozy. They're so easy to wear, but they're also easy to sew. And that little tie belt, it gives just a little bit of definition to your waist. You can cinch it in as much or as little as you want. If you're thinking you'd like to sew yourself a wrap coat, stick around. I have 10 patterns for you to choose from. Patterns that you can sew up quickly yet this season to wrap yourself up. Hi everyone, welcome to Sharon Sews. This is a channel where we talk about sewing and fashion. Some fashion articles that I read said that the wrap coat came about and became popular because we're still looking for some comfort clothes. I saw a lot of designer versions that range in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to more moderately priced wrap coats available in your online retailers. For a classic version, think about wool or wool blend. Think about a neutral color like a navy or a tan or a black. Or think about something brighter. Now for myself, when I lived in Minnesota, those are long, long winters. And I always had at least one brightly colored winter coat that I wore throughout the winter. Just boosts your mood, that little bit of color. Besides wool and wool blends, designers were showing their versions in shirling fabrics, leather, quilted leather, even faux fur. Just be careful if you choose faux furs that you don't look like you're wearing a bathrobe. It's called a robe coat for a reason. At the end of this video, I'll have a couple suggestions for online fabric stores where I found some great fabrics to make a wrap coat. And now the 10 wrap coat patterns. If there's one that I did not include, be sure to leave it for me in the comments below. The Style Arc Ormond Designer Coat. This fully lined wrap coat has waist ties, raglan sleeves, a two-piece collar, back bodice with angled pleats, a wide back waistband, inseam pockets, pockets are good, and inverted pleat in the back. And the pattern does include an option to be unlined. Style Arc, if you've shown any of their patterns in the past, you know that their instructions can be a little bit on the minimal size. And I'm happy to let you know that they do have a tutorial on their website with step-by-step -step to help you through the construction of this wrap coat. This is available in sizes four to 30, a bust 30.3 inches to 58 and a quarter inches. Fabric suggestions of wool cashmere, wool Melton and gabardine. The Nomi Wrap Coat Pattern number ME2001. This oversized lined coat has a belt, sleeve bands, wide lapel notched collar, and side seam pockets. This is available in sizes 10 to 38W. That's a bust 32 and a half to 54 inches. Fabric suggestions include tweed, wool blends, gabardine, and cotton blends. The Vicky Sew so Reggie Coat. Now this is called a puffer coat by the designer, but I'm thinking you could change the fabric to make it not be a puffer coat. That's why I have included it. This is described as a loose fit with a grown on hood and welt pockets. There are front bust darts that transfer to the extended shoulder sleeve. There is a loose fitting two piece sleeve. It's double breasted and it does close with a snap and a tie belt. Fabric suggestions are medium weight rainwear fabric or outerwear fabric, and you can line this with an inner lining like thin slate to make it even warmer. This is available in sizes 34 to 52, which is 80 centimeters to 116 centimeters bust. And there are four different height ranges, so you can buy a pattern that's suitable from five feet, one inches to six feet, one inches. The Love Notions Octave Coat. This is available in extra small to 5X. That is a 33 to 57 and a half inch bust. And there is a full bust option available. This wrap coat has princess seams. There are pockets. There's an optional lining. It has a classic shawl collar or a dramatic hood. And there's a tie belt or you could use one single statement button. This is suitable for heavyweight woven fabrics like a wool or a flannel or bulky stable knits like a heavyweight fleece. Mood Fabrics has a free PDF available. It's called the Blair Oversized Coat. 
This wrap coat is very oversized. There's drop shoulders, there's a collar, tie belt, and really large patch pockets. There's a note on the website to size down if you do not want that very generous fit. This is available in sizes 00 to 32. That is a bust or chest measurement of 31 inches to 59 and a half inches. Now the finished bust measurement for this in the comparative size, this is 47 inches to 71 inches. So I'm not gonna do math while I'm on camera with you, but that is quite a bit of ease in this jacket. Fabric suggestions for this mood coat are wool boucle and cotton fleece. I think you could probably choose other fabrics for this. They've shown it, sewn up in the boucle and they sell that fabric and that's why they are suggesting it. Simplicity 8990. This unlined wrap coat has an oversized collar that creates a cape effect. There are side pockets that are top stitched in place and a tie belt. It's available in sizes 6 through 24. That's a bust 30 and a half inches to 46 inches. Fabric suggestions are double faced tweed, wool, ponte, sherpa, and suede. Simplicity 9187. This wrap coat has a relaxed fit. It has a shaped collar, sleeve cuffs, and pocket detail, and it includes fur collar, cuffs, and suede or leather belt. I personally think you need to be really careful about your fabric choices on this one. There's just something about those design lines that I feel like this one could go into bathrobe territory really quickly. This is available in sizes extra, extra small to extra, extra large. That is a bust 29 and a half inches to 48 inches. Fabric suggestions are brocade, fleece, ponte, velveteen, wool, and wool types. The Willow Wrap Coat from Jennifer Lauren Handmade. This wrap coat is lined. It's semi-fitted through the back and the shoulders. There is a darted front princess seam. I call that a Dior dart. And there are patch pockets, a tie belt, and loops. This is available in regular and curvy. Six through 24 for regular. That's a bust 29 and a half inches to 47 and one quarter inches. And that's an A to D cup options. The curvy size is available in 16 to 34. That is a bust 41 to 51 and 5 eighths, and that is a C to F cup option. Fabric recommendations are mid-weight woven fabrics such as Melton, Boucle, Tweed, Corduroy, or Quilted fabrics. And this particular pattern has a so long available on the website. The Friday Pattern Company Cambria Duster Coat. It's not classified as a wrap coat, but if you live in a warmer winter climate like I do, this makes a good option for you to get this look. This unlined coat has a dramatic wide draped shawl style collar. There are shaped patch pockets and the tie is sewn into the side seam, which is kind of nice because then you don't lose it. This is available in sizes extra small to 4X. That's a 32 inch to 54 inch bust. Fabrics such as a rayon twill, gabardine, or a lightweight wool or a boucle. Vogue 1758. This is a loose fitting line jacket with front patch pockets, a notched collar, tie belt, and it looks like it closes with a snap or a button. Now you can leave those sleeves off if you want a vest or you could just use that vest length and make yourself a jacket. This comes in sizes eight through 24, and that is a bust 31 and a half to 46 inches. Fabric recommendations are medium weight woolens, gabardine, and crepe. Butterick 6720. This is a loose fitting lined jacket or coat that front extends into the collar. There's a front pocket with a band. There's two piece sleeves and a tie belt. This comes in sizes small to XXL, and that's a bust 29 and a half inches to 48 inches. Fabric recommendations are wool blends, tweed, gabardine, poplin, or mohair. And then for that contrast, you could use faux fur, velveteen, satin, or brocade. Vogue 8930. Okay, this isn't your traditional classic wrap coat, but I've included it because it's one that I've sewn and I wear so often. Again, if you live in a climate with warmer winters, this could be a good option for you. This is a very loose fitting wrap jacket. The front extends into this great big collar. 
If you use A and B, it's a single layer, so the wrong side of the fabric does show, and there's patch pockets. There's a patch pocket on the outside and on the inside, and view C is lined, and it has side seam pockets. This is available in sizes 4 through 26. That's a bust of 29 and a half to 46 inches, and fabric suggestions are medium weight fabrics, wool, flannel, boiled wool. If you see, you could even do crepe, silk tweed, or jersey. I did a quick search online of wool coating fabrics and a number of online retailers came up where you can purchase fabric by the yard. Here are a couple of my favorites. Style Maker Fabrics, they have a beautiful boiled wool coating. It's a rayon wool blend. It wasn't listed on their website, the uh, percentage breakdown, so I did reach out to them. They were very responsive. It is 60% rayon and 40% wool, and it is a mid-weight. It probably has a really beautiful drape to it, and it is available in 17 colors. Emma One Sock, this is one of my favorite online fabric retailers. Some of their fabrics can be reordered, but others, once they're gone, they're gone. And that's because they buy a lot of designer dead stock fabric. You never know what you're going to find there. And my suggestion is if you find something that you really like, purchase it. When I was putting this video together, I came across this beautiful virgin wool, lightweight coating. It would be beautiful in a wrap coat. This is also where I have found warm backed lining before. It's shiny on one side and kind of like a flannel on the other side, and it's really good for lining your winter coats to add a little bit more warmth. Metro Textiles, they had some melton wools available on their website. There were some beautiful colors like this salmon colored one. I just think that would be gorgeous in the middle of winter. Fabric Mart Fabrics, you know I love Fabric Mart Fabrics. They have an ever-changing inventory of fabrics. This is one, again, I would suggest getting on their newsletter so that you see what's available and what the sale is. At the time I was putting this video together, they did have some wool coatings available. I thought this polyester rayon blend boucle would make a really beautiful one-of-a-kind wrap coat or try a classic color like a tan or a black. Stone Mountain Fabrics has a number of wool coatings available, including this Max Mara dead stock that I saw. It's a wool blend raspberry tweed. Oh, this is beautiful. They also listed the weight of the fabric. I'll be honest with you, I'm not real familiar with the weights, but Threads Magazine did have a really good article that explains fabric weights. I'll link that in the description box below if that's something you're interested in learning more about. Minerva has a large selection of wool and wool blend coatings. There were so many, it was hard for me to find one to highlight. I did like this heavyweight boiled wool textured fabric. It's actually a knit. It's 25% wool, 25% acrylic, and 50% polyester. If I use this, I would use a contrast fabric for facing something that's not textured just to eliminate some bulk. Those are just a few of my favorites that carry coating fabrics. What is your favorite? Leave it for me in the comments below. I love learning about new online fabric retailers. Until I see you in the next video, I hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. Fabric suggestions for this one include wool boucle, boucle wide, yeah. <laughs> fit is there's, bleh. There's a front pack, there's a front packet.